uh, pleased to say joining us this morning to look ahead to um, these this finals weekend. Uh, it is a former tennis player, former American tennis player, Jill Krabus. Morning to you, Jill. Jill. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, good. Yes, thank you. Very, very well. How are you? What have you made of Wimbledon? This oh, it's been it's been fantastic. First of all, I want to say I'm sorry about the loss of Paul Mariner. That's that's oh. really sad news. Oh, so I just want to um, recognize that. And but yes, here at Wimbledon, I'm just just up on the broadcast roof and have a great view of the entire site. So it's been it's been a great um, three weeks, including because I've been here since the qualifying event as well. But it's been um, yeah, it's been great to be back here. I'm just glad that I was able to come back into London. Yeah, of course. Um, Jill, the, before the start of the tournament, the women's uh, who was going to be the champion was very, very open. And we've ended up seeing the world number one get to the final. But a lot of people couldn't predict how it would go. You're absolutely right. Yeah, I mean, the the women's draw has always been with such great depth, and it's been a few years now that it's been sort of up in the air who's going to make the breakthrough. I think um, even the number one player in the world right now, Ashley Barty, who's in the final today, well, even it would even attest to that. She says, you know, every round is difficult. Um, anyone can win this event. She's the first one to say that anyone can get as far as she's gotten today. So it's always been good depth. I think it's always been up in the air who's going to get through. But that's what makes it exciting because mm. there's always a story. There's always someone that's going to make that small breakthrough. Always a story. And, and what's so great about this story today is that we will have a first time winner of Wimbledon. That's true, yeah. And it's great to see, obviously, Bash Barty playing Pliskova. Pliskova has also been in a final of a slam before at the US Open. So this is her second time here. And also Ash Barty's second time in a final, of course, Barty winning the French Open uh, a few years ago. But it's it's going to be a great final. And I think the, the biggest excitement between these two players is the contrast of styles. Mm. Ash Barty is someone mm. that brings a lot of variety to her game. Um, the sli She can slice, drop shot, can come to net. And Pliskova, a little bit opposite player, just hits with a lot of pace and power off the ground. But spectators and people love watching those contrasts of styles. So it's going to be really exciting mm. to watch. And Jill, yesterday I watched a bit of the game against Barty against um, Kerber and Kerber you know was expected to give her one hell of a match and yet Ash Barty ended up winning it quite convincingly well I think I think the scoreline is always a bit tricky I think it was is it was closer than it indicated because mm. Kerber came back really strong in that second set and actually had a chance to push it to a third she was serving for the second set and wasn't able to to convert on her service games but Barty did a good job of, of lifting her level because Kerber really got more aggressive in that second set and she almost forced Barty to have to adapt and to change some some parts of her game and she did that extremely well and was able to get through that and Barty in particular has done a great job of, of really lifting the level especially in those um, pressure moments and those challenging moments and she's only dropped a set hasn't she Barty yes. in this tournament so far and, and it's the run to the final is, is quite remarkable for her with the fact that she's only dropped a set and also that she had to withdraw from the French Open um, which su suggested there was a little bit of doubt whether or not she would make Wimbledon so for her to have got to this final is quite remarkable Yeah and that set she dropped was in the first round and the yes. first round always a bit tricky to get through because there's always nerves trying to get through that first round um, and I actually I spoke to Artie's coach yesterday Craig Tizer and he was um, you know very open about how she had to pull out of the French um, how they really had to work on a lot of strength training before she started Wimbledon didn't play a lead up tournament um, on the grass court so there were so many factors that they had to deal with but they did such a good job of just taking those small steps just trying to get better and improve every day leading up to the first round and she's done that exceptionally well mm -hmm. when the tournament started too she's just been getting stronger and stronger each match um, and whereas Barty had that injury concern I, I suppose you could question the form of Pliskova coming into this because she had that early exit at Roland Garros and then lost both her warm-up matches in Berlin an Eastbourne, so not the best preparation for her. Yeah, so the, the the injury for Barty was in the hip area. I don't know the exact um, the exact injury or how 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 bad it was, but it was in the hip region. So they've done a really good job of rehabbing that leading up to the event. 
And you're right, Pliskova. I mean, you know, a lot of people didn't pick her to get this far just because of the form leading into the leading into Wimbledon. And but sometimes that happens. I mean, that's what's crazy about sport and tennis in particular is that confidence is so important. But you can literally come into a tournament and all of a sudden, you know, you feel good practicing. You feel good um, when you get to the event, and things can change so quickly. But the fact that she got a couple of matches on the grass, even though she lost, I think probably helped her get accustomed to the surface a little bit. Um, so come on then, Jill, give us your call. Who do you think is going to lift the trophy? <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> um, I'm edging towards Barty just because she has so many different tools that she can choose from. And I think she's going to, she likes pace coming into her racket because she absorbs it so well. Um, so I'm edging towards Barty, but I, I can't say that I say that with a ton of confidence, but... <laughs> That's that's my pick right now. <laughs> okay, all right. So could we put you on the spot for that one? Just briefly, okay. then. Is it is it more straightforward for the men's final? <laughs> uh, it seems that way. Yes, because um, Djokovic obviously has been playing exceptionally well. I was really impressed um, with this match yesterday against Shapovalov. Um, just played so well because I mean, even he said in his post match press conference or on, on court. Um, on court interview that he thought Shapovalov was the better player yesterday. And that's mm. just crazy that he would come out and say that because um, even he felt like he was so pushed. And maybe even he felt he was lucky to get through that because he felt Shapovalov was playing so well. But I mean, Djokovic, he just, there's just no error in his game. I mean, there's just no weakness. He's so strong in, in everything, especially his mentality. Yeah. Um, so, I, I mean, I'm edging towards Djokovic. I would love to see Berrettini make a, a huge push because he's got a big, powerful game and he has the weapons to hurt Djokovic. Mm. Um, but I feel like Djokovic might just be a little bit too steady. Well, upset everybody on Radio Jill and just say it being the Italian double oh, tomorrow. No, don't say it, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that many times so far today. Okay. Yes. Well, we won't ask you to say it then, Jill, because that won't, that won't, that's not what England fans want. But, okay. okay. <laughs> but we really appreciate you speaking to us this morning. Jill, thank you. Bye thank bye. you so much. Yeah. Good oh. luck to England. Oh, yay! Thank you. You've won them all Jill. back again. Exactly. Jill. <laughs> she, knew what, she knew what she was doing very well. Uh, thank you, Jill Krabus, a former American tennis player, um, bringing us up to speed with the Wimbledon finals, of course, that are taking place over this weekend. Right now, you're listening to Talksport. Game Day Breakfast with Natalie Sawyer and Tony Cascarino. Saturday mornings from 6 on AM on DAB via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.